Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. This time it's a plugin review from Noise Ash. Um, this is not a, a sponsored video, so um, yeah, let's dive right into it. I'm Ander Verheven, I am audio engineer, producer and educator. And I am also a mastering engineer at Busyworks. Um, we're going to talk about the Neat 31102 because uh, in my opinion, this plugin is worth every every penny that I spend on it. It was just 50 bucks for now. Uh, it's a discount, so if you want to have this plugin, you have to be very fast because uh, Usually it's 150 bucks. So yeah, uh, let's dive right into it. Let me tell you about the backstory of this uh, plugin. This plugin is a recreation of the preamp equalizer from the Neve 31102, which is used in the console from Neve the 8086. And pretty much I think they aimed this plugin on the Silk top end that that Neve used these days and also back in the days which made their incredibly famous this console was used on several tracks and I meant the console not only the channel strip that you see over here I have to take a peek on my notes here it's used by Nirvana, Guns N' Roses, Red Hot Chili Peppers and Metallica so yeah and many more so yeah, <laughs> once I demoed this this plugin, I was completely baffled. I was like, I know this sound. Uh, I'm from the 80s. I used to listen to these recordings, but also to what is now called Synthwave. And I was like, this is it. I put it on my channels, all the demo stuff. And yeah, it drops out uh, once in a while. And I was like, it's only 50 bucks. Let's buy this thing. And... I'm very glad that I did. So guys from Noise Ash, I'm speaking directly to you. I sent you an email. Why did I do that? I saw two videos about it and I was like, it needs more attention. It needs more detail in how to use it. So eventually you didn't respond. So I'm making this video anyway. And I think you guys deserve this attention because you guys nailed every circuit that is used in this preamp slash console and it made me very happy and I hope you guys who is watching this video make you very happy and make you consider to buy this one and I hope uh, Noises makes more but uh, back to the content I created a track over here with existing WAV files they are from Sennheiser and I worked before with Sennheiser love you guys so let's dive right into it it's a Neurofunk track so let's go <laughs> So that's my creation with some of the wave files. And let's see what we can do with the synthesizer at first hand. Gonna pop up the plugin. Gonna engage the preamp. Let's turn it on and let's see what happens. I have to turn down about 10 decibels or 11 decibels. Yeah, 10. Ah, pretty much spot on. <laughs> A little bit more. Yeah. So let's give it more crisp high end or the silky high end, like uh, Rupert Neve would say. You immediately can hear it gets more body in uh, in the low end. So pretty 
pretty much love this one. So, uh, second thing is the drum over here. So there we go. Let's cut off the low end because we don't use it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what it does, but it immediately sounds like it's getting into place. So, heads up for you guys no, from Noise S. <laughs> So let, let's make it more of a telephone filter. Oh, that's too much. A bit more. There we go. It's like coming alive. I don't know what, what it does, but it's so, yeah. I, I cannot describe it. Just try it, use it, and yeah, you're probably going to love it anyway. So uh, let's move over to the drums over here. I'm going to use this kick, so I'm not going to cut out the low end, but I'm going to engage the preamp again and also the plugin. So there we go. That's pretty much... You can hear the high end. Here it's very sharp, and now it sounds more like it's getting a more rounded curve. On the high end, yeah, you have to listen to your studio speakers really good or use headphones like I do. Um, so let's give it a bit of the crisp back in the high end. Turn it a little bit down. And let's give the bass a little bit more bump uh, in the 60 hertz region. There we go. Immediately get its own character. So that's one. Then we move over to, to the next one. Also engage this one. This is this is the the second loop. Mostly I use two or three loops, but in this case two. I'm going to cut out the low end because the kicks are fighting with each other. You heard it um, back in when I played it and it sounded uh, like uh, these kicks were fighting with each other. So I'm going to cancel out one of the kicks, this is this one. So there we go. Uh, give it also a bit more... Oh, it's too much. There we go. Now it loses a lot of high end, so probably too much. There we go. Okay, we are spot on. So that was the second one. Then we go for the bass, and also we're gonna filter out the low end of this bass line because they are fighting also with each other, these two basses and with the kick. So we have to make space for that. Turn on the preamp, of course. So there's a preamp section. Gonna talk you over a bit, a bit more about these sections over here, but now. We're using this one to fix the the mix of the uh, of the neurofunk uh, sample song. So there we go. There you go. It immediately comes to life. So that's really great. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more high end. More in this region, I think. Oh. Needs a little bit more juice. And I think you can use a little bit more in the mid section. High mid section. Let, let him be the lead. Although, I have to t tell you that the. First bass uh, is answering the second bass. So let's move over to the last one. That's the last bass over here. Oh, 
although just putting it on makes it <laughs> makes it different in the day and night so there we go put on the preamp gonna give this one a really crank up sound there we go thing also a little bit more crisp and high end not too much and give it around 60 no 110 a bit more bass <laughs> like it's really coming alive so there you go with everything on it we're going to enjoy the mix with it and after that quickly turn everything off and listen to everything without it there you go <laughs> putting it off and just these two on and let's listen it back without the plugin <laughs> going to turn it back on so there we go It does get some juice over there, definitely, and I'm loving it because I uh, grew up with this with this sound of the console, the AT86 from Neve. Last thing that before I close down, I was I promised to talk about some sections over here. So this section over here is the preamp. Yeah, that gives more the juice, like uh, the signal is getting out of the box or recorded with a mic uh, and goes right along this section here and then it generally goes to the four band equalizer which i call a six band because you have the these tools over here as well the high cut and the low cut after that it goes to the faders and they build in an extra thing over here with the mid side show to you guys over here These are the sides. This is the mid section. So you can check if uh, everything is uh, okay in the stereo field and you can easily back down a little bit to the mid section or just go way over the top in the stereo field with the side sections. The last thing uh, which I love is the mono button so you can hear if your uh, track is... Yeah. On the drums you can hear the mono button. Sorry, not this one. So now you're here at the mono. And now in stereo and if you doubting if your track is still in phase, you can push this button. So this is perfectly in phase. Or perfectly aligned, sorry, in phase, then you have a big problem. Aligned. You can drop out the EQ and put it back on. For this part over here. Um, yeah. It's a really neat plugin. Go check it out on the website of Noiseash. Uh, Noiseash.com forward slash neat minus 31 102 minus console minus EQ and forward slash again and grab yourself a copy for 50 bucks because it's worth every penny of it like I already said. So if you guys like this video please subscribe hit the notification bell and see you guys next week. <laughs>